witches! So today I wanted to talk a little bit about sun magic. Now I know witchcraft, like within witchcraft, we kind of tend to focus a lot on the moon. I get it. She's beautiful and mysterious. Who wouldn't be obsessed with her? I understand this. However, we often kind of, and at least for me, I don't know, maybe this is not anyone else's experience except mine, but for me, I kind of see that we we don't take, we kind of take the sun for granted, I think, a little bit in witchcraft sometimes. And it's a source that we are around all the time. It's this beautiful celestial body that, you know, can be revered with the same way we like revere the moon, right? Um, but I digress. Yeah, so I wanted to talk about how we can use the sun to the best of our advantage as witches, especially now that we are kind of entering a season where the sun isn't like constantly in the sky anymore. As as we get closer to the winter solstice, at least in the northern hemisphere, um, you know, the days are getting shorter and shorter. So the sun becomes something that like, I'm, I'm missing, like, you know what I mean? I'm like, oh man, it's dark at three o'clock. I don't like that. So it's something that I want to capitalize on as best as I can. Also just kind of revere and appreciate in these dark months because the winter time, it is always really hard for me with how dark it gets. I just hate it, but you know, it is what it is. So. Um, the sun, what is it associated with? Well, the, we know the moon and all of its properties. We did a whole month on lunar magic, so we're not going to talk about this today. The sun itself is associated with success, enlightenment, goals, um, like, and goal setting, um, and achieving achievement, um, health, freedom, um, male energy, self-confidence, power, individuality, energy, um, I, I don't know, I always see it kind of as like this figure of abundance and empowerment. Um, so those are kind of the energies that are associated with the sun. I definitely see it as kind of like a masculine energy to the moon's like feminine energy, but um, that is kind of neither here nor there. Well, ancient people put a lot of importance on the sun in their daily lives. It's a time when they didn't really have any of the modern conveniences that we have, like heat and grocery stores. So the sun meant heat and life, like it meant survival, right? And it's something I feel like we kind of have become disconnected to, but something that I hope to reclaim in the new year, you know what I mean? So. Um, Today, I really wanted to talk about something that is kind of a prevalent topic right now in this time of year, um, and that is doing magic during the sunrise and the sunset. So um, Yule, a lot of witches will practice or get up with the sun, ugh, get up with the sun and observe the sun based, not like look right at it, but do workings or celebrate throughout the day while the sun is out. Um, not only to like <laughs> um just like bask in like the vitamin d that is very necessary but also to um celebrate the fact that the sun is returning so this is the shortest day of the year the days are only going to get longer which is a great reprieve from this like cold darkness that is winter um and i think that's really beautiful to give you some ideas for what you can do on yule i thought we would talk about magic that can be done during the sunset and the sunrise so first we're going to talk about sunrise sunrises the energy that is associated with the sunrise of course are new beginnings, health, renewal, kind of this sense of resurrection, I would say like glamour magic as well. Um, just sort of like that clean slate. It's kind of the energy that I associate a little bit with the new moon, um, but also kind of more with like the waxing moon. So does that make sense? Like the waxing crescent. So watch my videos about that for more ideas. Um, things you can do during the sunrise are intention setting, cleansing your space. Um, I like to do candle magic. So I will begin a, I'll get like a really big candle, um, begin the spell at sunrise and allow it to work until sunset. So that is something that I do plan on doing at Yule. Um, then you can also, one of the things that I think would be cool is charging water in the light of the rising sun and performing glamour magic. Um, so by like washing your face to have like kind of like a fresh rosy glow. Um, or whatever glamour magic you so prefer. Alternatively, if you're not into makeup and stuff, which is a-okay, you can charge a bottle of water in the sun, um, in the rising sun, as you get ready for work to bring vitality and strength. So I just thought those are some good ideas, some charging, some, you know, little things you can do, some easy magic, some low energy magic. On the converse, we then have sunset magic, which is pretty cool. It's a lot more self-care and stuff, so it's, the energies associated with the sunset are um, relieving any sort of stress, any sort of mental confusion, um, letting go of things that happen during the day, releasing anything that doesn't serve you, um, and just like kind of reflecting on everything that happened the day prior. So um, 
one of the, I have two recommendations for magics. Two recommendations for magics to be done during the sunset. Um, the first one is to do a visualization or meditation session, like as the sun sets. So start it um, at a specific time and meditate until the sun goes completely down. Um, you can also do some sort of visualization if you would like, um, or manifestation if you prefer to work at night. That is completely up to you. You can do whatever you want. Um, and then the final recommendation I have for the sunset is to charge water um, by setting it in the light of the sunset. So allow it to really soak up that relaxing, kind of releasing energy, and then add that water to um, some sort of ritual bath, maybe a cleansing bath, relaxation bath, add some lavender, you, you know, just treat yourself. So um, those are just some ideas that I had. I would love to hear about how you guys work at sunrise and sunset. Um, or how you work with the sun in your practice. I think that would be cool to talk about. So I will see you guys later.